Well, this is the two rows of dimes I got from the bank. That first row of dimes was just being obstinate and didn't want to come out in a clean roll like that one did. But you can see right, oh, sorry, right underneath this dime, there's a different colored dime. And I've seen a few other dimes in this roll as well that could be potential, have potential. I mean, that one does because it does look pretty worn out and old. But let's see here. Maybe one. There might be a few in there that has potential. I did go through all those nickels from the previous clip and just to double check and yeah, none of them actually had anything good. They're all 2022 piece, so that sort of sucks. But let's see what potential we could find in these two rolls. Well, out of those two rolls, these are the only two stacks of pennies that might have, sorry, dimes that might actually have potential. Just by the code of variance on them, because if you look at them, some aren't that shiny. They, that one looks pretty dull. Most of them look that way. I might find an old one in there that's older than 1980, maybe. But I'm guessing they're all going to be like in the 1990s to early 2000s. But hey. I'm going to stick them in the microscope, so let's find out here. First dime. 1995. I just said 1990s, right? Ooh, 1981. Okay. One up on me. Nice. I like that. Let's see if I can put it wrong again. 2000. So for us, two for two. Let's see about this one. Uh, 2008. And 2018. Okay, so nothing good in that first stack, which is, I think, five dimes. This came from the first roll. That last set was from uh, the second roll, 2018. Uh-oh. 2004 uh, 2012 this one might be too shiny might be a lighter one 2021 you got me but she looked pretty dull 2011 Ooh, this one might not be that good either 2015 2017. Well, dang, we didn't find nothing good in those diamonds, but there's still rolled paints to go. Let's find out.